Welcome to Jan's Views, a place where I share my views and listen to yours. Whether you are here for my artwork, live streams, shorts, or just for the giggles, please be assured I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that you will enjoy your time here on my channel. I would be eternally grateful if you would give a like to the video, consider subscribing and, dare I ask, even become a member. So, without further ado, let's do this. Hello and a very good evening to you. Not only is it a good evening, it's also Drama Friday. It's Drama Friday. I bet you can't see me in the picture. I'm there. I'm there a few times actually. <laughs> going round and round. Listen, guys, I was going round and round today. Um, yeah, I've been out and about. I uh, had did I have, yeah, yeah, I had a coffee with one son, and I had, what did I have with him? Oh, I know, I had a tuna melt with him, I do like that, in a panini, so I had that with him, I then went and met the other son, and um, he spoiled me, we went shopping, and he bought me a couple of little bits and pieces, bless him, he's back from Switzerland, um, he's been away for the best part of a week and he's now back. So yeah, he texted and said, Mum, <laughs> wanna go shopping? Well, listen, I'm a woman. That's what I like to do. Shops, coffee shops, that's it. I'm a happy bunny. So yeah, I had a good time. Um and uh got back, I think, about 8 30 this evening and thought, right, I better start planning what we're going to talk about on Drama Friday because, you know, quite often there's quite a lot of drama going on. There's always drama going on, isn't there? I want to sort of start talking about drama in the real world as well, not just in this tiny little section of the internet. But uh, anyway, uh, we're going to stick to that <laughs> tonight because it's what... You all know. Hey, Edna, how are you, honey? Let's click you on. Let's see what you've been up to today. Um, as I say, I'm quite chilled. 
Um, tired probably is the is the right word, but I am chilled. Um, and uh, just looking forward to spending some time with you and just chatting about things and just seeing what's going on. One of the things I thought we could do, uh, which I thought Edna might quite like, because Edna doesn't have Twitter. So I thought it might be quite a good idea to peruse Twitter so Edna can decide whether or not she really wants to go on there. I'm telling you, <laughs> you better get ready because if you follow the wrong people, there's going to be an awful lot of uh, squabbling, uh, shouting, all the usual stuff. Um, I like to mix. <laughs> My Twitter feed is quite a mixed thing uh, because uh, I don't want to be on there arguing and this, that and the other. Um, and uh, is that the same trolling on Twitter? But uh, we can give it a go. Hey, Edna, how are you? Hey, Jen, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. As I said, I've had a nice day today. Met up with uh, my son and his girlfriend. Um, she's such a good girl. Oh, nice. Yeah. My, both my sons have got really lovely women and um and they right. treat them very well it didn't pop up how dare it i'm here um are you coming up me no I, it was it didn't go live on my phone because I, I turned my <laughs> really oh that's that's obviously uh youtube probably saying oh, i can't be bothered she only has four people in the chat anyway, so nobody needs to be notified. So <laughs> it just didn't even bother this time. Come on up, Bridge, if you want to. You may like this because what we're going to do uh, to begin with, do you know what? I was thinking we could go over the same old thing, but do you know what? I'm fed up with having the same people on my screen. So I like to swap it around a bit. Anyway, before we do that, mm -hmm. how are you, Edna? What have you been up to today? Taxes, Jan. Just reviewing taxes all day. And my brain is mush because some of these things that I'm catching as like the second or third person who's seen it, it's outrageous. It makes me a little nervous for what's getting out the door. <laughs> Hey, Bridge. How are you, Bridge. sweetie? How are you? She's still got a, a microphone Sorry, off. She's muted. Mm -hmm. I thought I had a meeting today, but then I, I didn't realize that my professor had canceled it. So here I am. Oh, <laughs> oh good. Well, nice. at, least I there's, there's, 30 minutes. at least there's <laughs> three of us. There's three of us here tonight, girl. <laughs> So yeah, there's more on the panel as there is in the in the chat. But hey, I'm sure some lurkers will come on, come in soon. But anyway, guys, what I was going to do, I was going to look at Twitter because it's just. <laughs> I thought we could just show Edna what it's really like. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Are you ready for this? It's. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna have some fun so what we're gonna do we're gonna add that so the first person mm. we're gonna look at is i thought we could have like a good discussion about this okay this is yo mamas all right uh the red <laughs> the red button there <laughs> blocked that's the best way yeah just block him block him everywhere <laughs> so anyway he's what was funny is there seems to be like an ongoing thing with somebody called Pew Pew. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to look at her again, uh, or we're going to look at her in a little while, okay? But first, I just wanted to sort of look at this, um, which is somebody called 45G7U8. No idea where they came up with that name. Before we go on, how are you, Bridge? Are you okay? Have you had a good week? Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nothing exciting. <laughs> no, but you're still here, so that's the main yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. 
Right. Okay. So what's happening is pew pew. You can probably help me out more here. Um, mm -hmm bridge because you probably know more about it but pew pew um has been um ostracized mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and what's actually I mean, happening now about how she made comments and made them up you so your mic now. your mic's going in and out darling <laughs> sort your mic out Okay, what? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm okay. It's all right. Don't worry. Just sort it out, darling. Okay, it's do fine. I sound better now or is it still going in and out? That sounds better. That sounds better. So, what were okay. you saying? I was just saying that I heard that Pew Pew made some. I heard that Pew Pew made some comments that made. He was saying, your mama was saying that they made him uh, uncomfortable, but I hadn't heard. Is that what you're about to talk about? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was better to discuss the situation by looking at Twitter because I mm -hmm. thought we can okay. see it all before our eyes um, and just <laughs> and just laugh at it. So, Bridge, do you want to do a quick sort of summary of the situation? Well, because I don't really know the whole thing because I didn't I didn't see the whole thing. But what I first thought was that Pew Pew got got uh, banned from his chat because she was spamming the chat. And I know that she had gotten upset about some comments that he had made when he was talking about somebody and said that they were homophobic. Mm -hmm. And I thought that's where the ban came from. But then okay. I heard, yeah, but then I heard that um, she was saying that she wants to see it. <laughs> see, see the pain? Right, yeah, I know what you yeah. mean. <laughs> <laughs> who was calling and, who homophobic? Uh, uh, Pew Pew was calling your mama homophobic because he was talking okay. about some guy. Yeah, I, I think I, mean, I don't know who, who he was talking about, but basically saying it was gay and all. And he says I forget what he said, but she was going okay. off about that. Yeah, she was going off about that, and it was it, it was a big deal at the time. And like I said, that's when I thought that she got banned. So. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Why, so in what context was she asking to see it? The thing with Pew Pew. <laughs> <laughs> the thing with Pew Pew, 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 Pew Pew says that she's a troll. She yeah. is a troll. Mm -hmm. She goes after, she goes, she's been going after FFG for the past few months and stuff like that. Then um, she, I guess she saw that uh, your mama was going after FFG too. So they were like on Twitter conversing back and forth. Everything was cool. She was in his chat. They were sharing, reposting each other's right. tweets. He was getting information from her and stuff like that. But Pew Pew also, she goes on, she, she had a list that she made of all the people that were FFG fans or coming at her all sideways and stuff. And so she started making like a physical list and like warning people, you about to be on the list. And so people were mad about oh this my. list. It was hilarious. It was like a, a joke. And people, people were really getting mad about this list. I'm cracking up about it because people are getting so <laughs> upset about this stupid right. list. <laughs> but, <laughs> but also... Pew Pew says like off the wall stuff. I remember one time she was talking about how she found a gray, a gray cooch hair <laughs> and stuff like that. Just oh, off Lord. the wall stuff. <laughs> oh my God. That was a bit Funny. of a nutter. Ooh, <laughs> and that's fine. I like nutters. We gel. Yeah. We gel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, I, I have been on Twitter talking about uh uh like like yo mama he gives me uh little little peen energy he is i say mm -hmm. he has a little bit and few people's like no no it's big i know it's big oh he has the biggest i want to see it i want to see it i don't know if it's <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> i don't i don't know if it stemmed from so that funny. but she yeah she just been, she's been on this he got a huge peen i know it's huge and stuff like that but i guess it got to a point where she was like i want to see it i want to see it and then I guess that's uh, what made your him uncomfortable. Your family man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So he's now running with that, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. now saying that she's, you know, been openly pursuing him. <laughs> and, um, you know, and he, he wants nothing to do with her. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's where that's come from. Hey, Swish Swish. Nice to see you. I hope you've had a good Hello. week. 
so okay so that actually leads quite well into this first bit here that somebody's written it says is it true pew pew tasha was looking for yo mama's bean pictures <laughs> i'm just getting caught up on the recent tea here okay so that was yesterday now let's see let's click on some replies um and i can't see any replies so it's obviously somebody oh okay okay so then somebody's put if that's true that's just re that just really reiterates how psychotic she is <laughs> scorned af i mean the way people run with things is mad mm -hmm. she's then come back what well, i'm saying she i don't know uh they've now come back with i don't know legit i don't know just wanted to hear her side of things so this is how twitter works um <laughs> Edna, all right. <laughs> so then you have to click on the replies. Thank then you. someone said, I know she I was at Twitter before, but it's... <laughs> okay. no, all this right. is Twitter 101, Edna. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. Thank it's you. mad. So somebody <laughs> has added to that. I know she was advocating for light, light skin black men's dong size. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. When Drake's dong got leaked, she was like, see, about mm -hmm. your mama, that's all I know about. Okay. Then they're talking about Drake's dong, which we're not really interested in. <laughs> then somebody called Janny Jan Jan, uh, no, Janny Jan Janet says, yup, it's true. She talked about it all the time. She's a, what, a freakazoid. Never mm. heard of that word. <laughs> But anyway, that's what she is. She's a freakazoid. So then, no, I've heard the of original. It. It's a, yeah, yeah. anyway. That's not important. Yeah, I, I, I'm not interested. That no, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> she asked about it a lot, and was that the reason they stopped talking? Oh, I think she's probably trying to say, and that was the reason they stopped talking. I'm trying to understand mm -hmm. the context of what occurred. Is all. Thanks. So then we're going to, oh, and then Janny Jan Janet's come back with, she kept talking about it until that man stated he was uncomfortable and blocked her from chat. <laughs> then all of a sudden, he's a pred now. Her and her and King Loser been putting that out there, but now she's backtracking, saying she's saying he's sus not a pred she's weak-minded and strange so the original person then says ah oh, so poo poo was likely embarrassed she got called out for it did she flirt with him publicly <laughs> do we have concrete proof of this what's she talking about nobody has concrete proof of anything <laughs> online well, i mean ridiculous. it sounds like that they were doing it in uh like in the chat wouldn't that be proof yeah, I would, should imagine. So then Yo Mama pi uh, pipes up. She was lusting hard. It was mm -hmm. uncomfortable. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's playing into the uh, into the narrative. Mm -hmm. So the other woman says, didn't she know you were married? Did she DM you privately? So, yes, she didn't care. Now she's acting like a crazy. It's embarrassing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Right, okay. And then we've got oof at the end. So that's the end of that little that little chat. We're gonna have a look at uh Pew Pew in a little while. Um, right, let's see. There was anything else added to that? Oh, okay. Oh, bridge. Yeah, his bridge. <laughs> so Bridget's put <laughs> Bridget's put. I, I give it three months for Hikati. I'm going to call her Hikati. That's what she deserves. To fully realise <laughs> that your mama is totally full of shat and stop giving super chats. <laughs> I guarantee <laughs> it will happen. Just like I told Tasha a few months ago. Can we get a pool started? A, a pool thing started. I say three months. Anybody think shorter, longer? I want to win pounds on this. Show me the money. So, 
<laughs> I, uh, right, okay. Where's my, I replied to that. Where's mine? Where's my reply? Anyway, so Bridget then said, it took me a minute, and I know T Tasha and hey, Katie aren't dumb ladies, even though they don't get along right now. But I'm more than sure something is going to happen to make hey, Katie take up, uh, go off. Oh, I'm Negro oh. Darmus, and I'm predicting the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't think so. I think if anything happens, it'll be like uh, what's happening with Tasha, where he's trying, like he's playing innocent um, to allow her to yeah. try to look crazy. So he'll probably play mm -hmm. the same thing with uh, her Katie. Or, Jen. Yeah, we've got to call her Katie. Friend. It's a stupid name. I'm sorry. It just is. So Pew Pew, <laughs> but I give it two months. Listen, okay. I, I can't like find in what I said. Like it Bridge, huh? where's my answer? D did you reply on the uh, on the one that your mama retweeted or quote tweeted? Probably. Yeah, I, re I replied on the one that. Uh, 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 uh. Because if you have okay, now we're on your his, one. You have a blog thing. You might not see it. No, I think that you replied on his. Maybe. Did I? It's on my other account anyway, but anyway, it doesn't really matter because everybody is blocked on this one. Um, I can't find it now. But anyway, I put something like, I give it six months because <laughs> Hikati thinks, <laughs> thinks with her genitals, something like that. So she won't realise that for six months. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. Um, so anyway, why are we on your page? I, I didn't mean to be on yours. Go back to his. Right, okay, let's go back to his. Right, okay, so I did respond to that, but anyway. Um, right, so what I'm trying to say is he's going to try and run with that, okay? Pew Pew well, is well, a no, with, mother. With, with Pew Pew, she basically started to see and stuff um, in him and kind of was like no he's not cool and stuff mm -hmm. like that and then that's when he tried to turn her into a, some crazed stalker person right but what yeah. do you think she saw that uh that made her no uh it was think it was that no longer cool. it was that it was that comment that he made that she felt was homophobic oh okay and i don't Which know was the comment can you remember what it was was it in his chat was it on his live stream on his, it was on his live stream. I, I, I honestly don't, I don't. I remember. think he's shown it anyway. To be fair, I think he's shown it a few it, times. Yeah. Um, like it, the thing that springs to mind for me is when Ala, Ala mm -hmm. was dancing mm -hmm. with the men, and he couldn't seem oh. to get over the fact that men were dancing together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I thought, what's wrong with you, man? Open your bloody eyes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know um, he also has some kind of uh, exchange with, uh, I was going to say Young Miami, uh, Miami Vice Cassell, so. Oh, mm -hmm. did he? What did he say to her? To upset she didn't her? go into details, but, you know, she just let it be known that it was regarding, um, I think, like her sexuality or gender uh, yeah. presentation or something like that. Yeah. I mean, I can't bear to watch him anymore. I mean, he just... I, I just can't, but for read for research purposes, sometimes I have to, and I just <laughs> do everything. Um, but yeah, I mean, what amazes me is how he just trips up over his own ignorance and his own words so many times, um, and then tries to sort of rectify it and just makes it even worse. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious. So he anyway, can't help if he has a learning disability or something. But the thing that gets me is him being in Jessica Messica's Discord with the allegations of CP going around. Now mm -hmm. he's supposed to be this mm -hmm. big family man. Why are you anywhere near some mess like that? That's what. Wait, kind of what? Yep, CP well, in mind. her. <laughs> he said, "I heard him say." because I did skippity-skip through a, a bit earlier, and I heard him say that 
um this this new because there's a new jessica mesca um discord mm -hmm. and in this new one there's over like 400 people and so you can't help what people say you know people are mad and people will say things and i'm like what i mean i i, I wouldn't have it i mean if i had a discord right. like that i i just wouldn't have it adults we're not talking about you know mine or like um insignificant allegations mm -hmm. so there's a situation that's come up where it said that um pew pew um oh hang on let me get this right what was it she oh yeah there was an allegation that pew pew had said that he's a pedo okay now or a predator okay mm -hmm. now she has denied it mm -hmm. um but let me see. That's not the one. That's a new one. Yeah, that's a new one. Okay, let me go to... I want to find... You know which one I'm looking for, don't you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sure it was on this one. And she actually does deny that. She said she's never called him that. But, of course, again, she's gonna. he's going to try and run with it because that's what he does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's such a liar. So, anyway, let's let's start this. And that they quote unquote bully the women, the and other boss, and him. Him. He's cowardly, all these things. But does that equal a predator? But he, the way he's handling it, QP is going to lean all the way over on the goddamn scale. But more likely than not, it's going to be guilty soon because the way he's handling it is poor. If he's in the community and most of the community is going to just block everybody that thinks that, is he just going to not going to address things? And then when you have a whole platform about people addressing their behaviors and you don't address yours, sure, hypocritical. But once again, like a predator we might not like him we might not like a million things that he does and million qualities that he has but to label him something else you know i just feel like it's just we have to be careful that's all but i do see how i just want to clear up that i have not called your mama a predator i said what oh, okay, he was okay. doing looks it, it to me that's predatory behavior yeah it's, see, I and he that. has displayed victim blaming behavior as well right Right, so that's that's um, Pew Pew denying, okay. calling him that, okay? So, okay, I need to ask, and it's probably Bridge that's probably going to know the answer to this. Was she talking about, what particular moment is she talking about where she thinks that he's using predatory behaviour? When he, I, get, I believe when he was looking for those 16-year-old uh, girls, that right, I get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I would think. Yeah. Yeah. And I get that 100%. So let's get back to the most, should we get to the most recent and go down? I see you're in there again, Bridge. Um, Hang on a minute. Let's go. This Hikati, she likes to get herself around, okay? She is so desperate for attention. <laughs> Every time I go into somebody's live stream, um, she's there and, you know, <laughs> giving it large, okay, as we say over here. Right. So let's go right down. Um, right. So we've heard, we've heard her say out of her own mouth, and she said it to her, Katie, right, mm -hmm. okay. that, she didn't call him that. But, of course, her Kate is going to still run with it. Okay. Um, right. So, God, how far back shall we go now? Um, mm, 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 mm. It's like, to be clear, there's levels to being a predator or playing predatory behavior. And, yeah. um, you know, like, 16 is different than, like, 12 is different. You know, so... He could show, you know, predatory or unsavory behavior in one category without that being like a complete predator or what or what have you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and personally, I would be very careful before I use that word. And I have used that word, I don't deny it. And I've said over and over again why I have come to that conclusion. Now, whether people want to try and paint it in any other way, uh, they can try. But I've said on numerous occasions why I said it. I even did a PowerPoint <laughs> to prove why I said it. 
But, you know, if people want to, um, you know, paint a narrative, then they're going to do it, you know. So, and you can keep denying it until you're blue in the face. It's not going to stop them. Okay, so somebody said, you like making the arguments, and she's put, it's effective. I like Pew Pew. She's, <laughs> I like her. She's not afraid to speak. She's a troll. I'm a troll. I like to troll sometimes. Right, okay, let's start with, it's difficult when you're doing um, Twitter, though, to know whether to start at the end or to start at the beginning. So let's start with the with the person who's actually written the, the first comment. Okay, this is Hikati, who, as I said, has an awful lot to say. Tasha and crew are continuing to obsess over me. <laughs> I mean, she wishes. It's her eye roll. <laughs> Eye rolls all over the place. Um, and I'm presuming this is an attempt to discredit me since they have no credibility. Mm, okay. Let me just correct this jackass and go about my day. All right, then. Um, who's that? Go Bamman DM'd me and said, I just, oh, my God, look how much she's written. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh. Mm -hmm. Jesus, who's uh, okay? Um, Bridge, who's Go Bamman? You know what? I really don't know. Okay, I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. okay, let's read this quickly. Let me get uh, uh, Go Bam uh, Go Bamman DM'd me and said I dismissed his SA and said he was biased because of that trauma. This portion of the clip is when he said he can read Joe Mama's body language based on his experience of being approached and seeing his niece and nephew approached. I stand on this opinion that Go Baman claiming to read and understand Joe Mama's intentions based on his experience of men approaching him, his niece and nephew, is an internal bias. He has no idea what Yo Mama was thinking. Well, we all knew what your mama was thinking when he was stood there yelling after the, you know, whooping it up with his friends because, you know, <laughs> there was 16 year old girl. So, yeah, that's relevant what she's just said there. I also said uh, there were internal biases when he claimed to have worked in event spaces at the 20. 32 18 mark but you completely left that part out i also god she likes the sound of her own type doesn't she <laughs> i also stated several times on this panel i only watched the video once during the second panel panel i made it clear after looking at it several times i don't think it's fair at all i do not agree and that's what the f it is tasha she always gets stroppy don't she this one you are full of shite. You love attention. Hark who's talking. <laughs> oh, my God. This woman. You love attention, even if it's negative, and will throw around terms like predatory to destroy someone's online reputation because you're in your feelings about being dismissed. Oh, stop it. Uh, my attached screenshot of your tweet you made within the last couple of days makes this evident to me. You are a manipulative person and full of shite. I stand on my opinion as well. Try again. Um, okay. <laughs> you still with me, everyone? All three mm -hmm. of you? Yes. Right. Yeah, no. <laughs> Belly's here. Hey, hey darling. Hey, darling. I hope you've had a good week and I'm looking forward to a fantastic weekend. Lovely to see you. So the bit that Hikati has put is <laughs> this bit here. Yo Mama is monitoring my online activity and I'm not even a YouTuber, bro. I got him right where I want his ass. <laughs> and you keep talking about me, sir, because... That's how this works. Exactly. That that's it in a nutshell. That's it. Mind you, another thing, just going off the off the uh, uh topic a little bit. Have you noticed he hasn't replied to anything that I've said about him recently? I wonder why. I <laughs> wonder why. Cowardy cowardy custard. Um, <laughs> right, okay. So that's fair. What can I say to that? Now that Hikati's got another name here, what is it? Azria 
<laughs> has has blown all that air up your asses. Take a minute to listen to what she actually said. Shall we listen? Okay. Sure. Okay. The way their excitement and the way their body language, and I know body language, whatever, it's a charge thing in this topic. It reminds me of the ways that I was approached as a minor. Mm -hmm. This, These are, reminds me of ways that I've seen adults approach my nieces or my nephews. Yep. I totally understand. That's why I was saying, like, we all have internal biases, and I and I respect it. I'm not trying to. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Why is she saying internal biases? Uh, bi biases. Bias. Why is she saying yeah. that? I think what she means is like we all have like a uh, maybe internal trauma, or like we have trauma that we internalize different actions um, in a certain way. That's what I think she's going I with that. I know, I know, I know what she's trying to say, but it's it's not really the right sort of thing that you should be saying to somebody who's suffered a trauma. I mean, if she said something like, you know, I can understand him saying that because he has suffered, um, you know, trauma in in the past, then you know that sounds much more um, connected and. Um, Oh, what's the word? Not friendly. I can't I can't think of the word I'm trying to say. It just sounds a much better way than saying, oh, well, I know he's got biases. Mm -hmm. I mean, what? What are you talking yeah. about? What does his biases have to do with anything? Wait, I thought she was talking about Pew Pew. No, she's talking about the man who's, who's speaking about, you know, his previous... Um, situations where he's he's been left with trauma so to call I mean, them a, a bias i think is awful because I, I mean the things that you've gone through in your past is going to affect how you perceive things yeah yeah going on so i guess in a sense it is going to create a certain level of bias but it's not that i just don't think the word bias fits that mm -hmm. conversation I don't think it should be used in that in that context. Yeah, we all understand what it means, but I mean, I, I feel personally by somebody saying that, and I think if somebody said that to me, if I suffered with something, um, you know, if I had some sort of trauma from something, um, I would find that, you know, a little bit demeaning. It's not a bias. It's like, you know, it's something that's happened. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just think no, don't don't try and poo poo it by saying <laughs> poo poo it when <laughs> and we're looking at pew pew thing. Oh, okay, move on, Jan. <laughs> you know, don't try and beat that. You know, it, uh, simplify it. But or... you know what? That's kind of like more consideration that we give to victims than most because a lot of times people like to just not even factor in that somebody has maybe gone through something or be traumatized in a certain way. So they're looking at something from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. I just feel that the word bias is inappropriate in this instance. So Bali <laughs> says, yeah, mama was paying attention as it suited him when he could boost his ego and make him look bigger by putting us down. Now this doesn't work. So he ignores hoping we lose relevance. Very well put, Barley. Absolutely. Yes. I agree with that 100%. And also, I feel he doesn't like strong women. He can't cope mm. with strong women. And, uh, you know, we're all strong women. We're None of us are fr frightened to say what we feel and what we um, believe um, in what he's doing, you know, and the way he portrays himself. And I don't I think realize, he, likes, he doesn't like the truth. Yeah, I just realized that he's probably scared of Jessica Mesca and those messy cows. That's why. Maybe that's why he's not saying anything. Well, hmm. maybe. Because the way that they have attacked Val and um, and Nal, and, so he's probably trying to stay on their good side. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, it's all going to end up a very messy pie at some point. Um, because I'm sure... It's just the king of girl world to be getting played like this. He doesn't even <laughs> see it. Do you think he understands yet? Yeah. 
I know. And I think, you know, the other thing is, he don't, I don't think he, I think he underestimates the power of a woman. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I really do. And, it, I and think it's he not thinks he's a man. He's in here running shit. And he doesn't know that they're allowing him to do what he's, the, yeah. what he's doing. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, he entertains them because he acts like a bloody fool. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I think when it comes to, um, you know, actually looking at the type of person he is, I think he's showing himself to be quite a vile individual, 100%. And I think he has anger issues. And, you know, I think it's, it's quite interesting, really, isn't it, that you get people that feel that just because they laugh a lot, they can show anger um mm -hmm. and be really quite nasty and vindictive to people but mm -hmm. can still get away with it because they can say it's comedy and you yeah. know it's a bit like hussy you know hussy does exactly yeah. the same thing you know well, he, i think your mom is going after people who like if he's vile to people who are being vile he thinks it's justified just like how they think it's justified to do with the foodie. Hmm. Yeah, but, but don't you think it's interesting how he can't keep foodie's name out of, out of his mouth? It's almost like, you know, he does have an obsession with her. Um, and he'll use her as a reason to attack other people. And that doesn't mm -hmm. make sense to me. Mm-hmm. I, I, I would never do that. He, like Bally said, he has this big ego that he boosts up. And that's that's why, you know, he called himself the king of girl world. Like he's, he, you know, he's bigged up himself to think that he's better than everybody else. Yep. Yep. Sorry, I had to cough. Oh, so okay. Barney says he's scared, I'm sure. They know too much of his weaknesses because he asked for their help as assistants. Yeah, mm -hmm. again, 100%. And I understand that Pew Pew used to give, used to do clips for him. Uh, in the well, wow. well uh, Pew Pew, she has her own channel where she does, does clips. So I think that he's used her, he's used a lot of her clips. Yeah, but he didn't. Did he give her credit for it? For it, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I don't even watch him like that, so I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So sure he if he's if he's uh, used it because he usually does, like you know, like with Fifi with the uh, edits of Hussy and stuff, he yeah. usually does, like thanks to whomever help. You know, it's quite interesting. You know, I always wondered. You know, because there was a time when I actually thought he was a decent guy. And I did wonder when he started sort of talking about Hussey and he would sort of make excuses for him and think it was funny and blah de blah. I used to think, how can you how can you not see, you know, what he's really like? And now I've realized why. It's because <laughs> he's the same. He's mm -hmm. act actually the same. Can someone read this out? Because I'm I need to blow my nose. It says Foodie was the oh. reason to enter girl world. He didn't care much for her. He saw he was he wait. He saw he has a playground to mess around and make money and step up because of his entertainment persona. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bally, I th yeah. And I think I, I don't know. I just, like I said, I just think that, you know, him going after reactors on Foodie's behalf. And I don't know, like, he probably doesn't completely hate Foodie because if he's anti FFG, then he's not going to hate Foodie, even though he doesn't mm -hmm. agree with her. Mm hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> well said. Right. So let's look here. Well, that's hey, Katie. I'm not going to read that. Talking about. D and flicking and all sorts of things. We don't need to be, read that. So, <laughs> this is two hours ago. <clears throat> oh, we didn't finish read. We didn't finish listening to that. So let's finish this. Okay. 
anything wrong with you or anything like that. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying that it's important, the language that we use. And you guys are saying that you, and it's fair for you guys to see something and draw conclusions and then to address the person and then for to basically tell you to fuck off. And then you hear things that you're going to come to your conclusions, which you're entitled to. I was just talking about like definitively saying someone's a predator, which you guys are not doing. So basically I have nothing to say. No, we're coming to the conclusions of the predatory behavior based off of his behavior and yeah. what he has presented himself. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Which what is valid. Is that? I don't think someone has to be, a, you know, somebody doesn't have to be a convicted child molester for you call out the behavior. I think that's the problem where we let too much fly when, like, when Monty did a stream on uh, Gigi being inappropriate around the children. That doesn't make him a predator, but you know, I think it is valid to say, like, hey, do we want to act this way around young, impressionable minds? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's uh, that's the beauty of social media. That's the beauty also of, of having a channel and that you can actually speak on it. And we've got every right to speak on it, mm -hmm. um, yeah. especially if you see something wrong, because not everybody sees the same thing. It, in the same way, I recognize that, but... Well, that, that's exactly how that clip that I had posted on, on Twitter with the 16-year-old girls, I put as basically like my commentary, like, you know, he's saying the 16-year-old girls are children, but he's calling them be, um, bitches and, yeah. and things like that. My whole thing was, you know, look at this hypocrisy. But then it kind of just blew up into, into um, no, he has predatory behavior. And I was like, I didn't even see that. I yeah. didn't even think of it in that way. Yeah. Right. And I'm the same, actually. I hadn't really looked at it that way. But, mm -hmm. I mean, it was uncomfortable to watch, especially when you realized that, you know, they're a group of 20-year-old 20, 20 men. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's all right. So they're joking and saying, you know, oh, well, she said she's 16 and... One of them said, oh, yeah, you know, the whole thing was just really uncomfortable to watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But even and so. And this idea that anybody under, like, first of all, they're under 18, they're a minor, they're children anyway. But it's not no. like you just turn into a fully fledged adult being able to stand up for yourself and handle situations and everything once you turn 18. You yeah. know, so even if they were a bit young or a bit older, you're still as a group of men young, running around yelling. You could be making those young women or those girls feel uncomfortable. And that's what they're mm -hmm. saying is that that kind of behavior is kind of unwarranted. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. Okay, so somebody underneath there has put, is this person a behavioural analyst or <laughs> was once with the FBI or something that they know by looking at someone you can just tell crazy. I mean, some of the things people say, it's just I mean, ludicrous. You, you, you don't have to be a behavioral analysis or anything no. like that to see right. a person's body language. Like you, sometimes you can look at somebody and be like, are you okay? You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they have a certain you look, you, you just know. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And also, you know, we're not blind, you know, mm -hmm. and, it's like I go out with my grandkids nowadays and <clears throat> they're beautiful young women, you know, they're young girls, but they're, you know, they're good looking and, you know, they're in their teens now, some of them. And, you know, if I see a group of lads go by and they, you know, they sort of look at my granddaughter, it doesn't really <laughs> bother me. I'm like, okay, mm. they're young boys. But I'm telling you, if I saw a 20 plus year old man walk by and you know sort of leer at her mm -hmm. i would not be happy right i'm telling you when i see it all the time like i'll be on the bus and i'll see a young woman walk around and the men stare at her like it mm -hmm. makes me uncomfortable as a yeah. as just a, a witness of it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i know and like he has no idea how that feels as as that person and you know it may be, you know, he feels uncomfortable. And, you know, he's not publicly addressing it. But I think that's, not, like, that shouldn't be put on a platform and okay. So for people to, because he is elevated, right? He's the king of girl world. And to see the <laughs> king acting this way with 16-year-olds should be called out. 
Mm -hmm. All right, okay, let's look at this. Out with your mama. Why does she, he, she like your mama so much? It's like that ex-girlfriend, you go to the mall, you go to a mall with another female friend and you at the Foot Locker and then your ex show up and she's yelling at the other girl like, why are you hanging out with him? He's a piece of shit. He's a... And then you, and then you got to stop her and be like, uh, uh, excuse me, didn't you want to see his dick three weeks ago? <laughs> right, girls. Do you want to talk on that while I go and blow my nose? I don't know. I mean, I haven't been in high school in over a decade. Uh, <laughs> the last time that type of situation would have been relevant. What about you, Brid? I, I, I just don't like that they are painting the scenario of of Tasha that she is totally she was totally obsessed with him cuz I I just didn't see it. I just see her um messing around, joking around. Maybe he didn't maybe he didn't like it, but this whole right. obsession thing that she's a stalker and psycho and stuff, I just I don't like it cuz I don't, I don't mm -hmm. think it's true. And it's like if you don't want the predatory things to be uh, blown mm -hmm. out of proportion, then why are you trying to blow this out of yes. proportion? It's like he's yes. trying to do tit for tat. Yep, exactly. And she's not going there with him. It sounds like she said, hey, I'm calling out something that I saw, but I'm not taking it to that point to call him, you know, a predator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's, uh -huh. he's equating it to like, you know, harassment and everything, which I mean, <laughs> like someone asking to see your, your member, you know, he, he's valid and feeling uncomfortable as a family man and mm -hmm. everything, you know, I'm, you know, I would not take that away from him, but that's kind of the point, you know, it's mm -hmm. like your behavior potentially put those girls in an uncomfortable situation, you know, so maybe that's what she's trying to do to him. I don't know, but it's, it's interesting. I'm wondering, did he tell her it made him uncomfortable? Did he do that on a live stream or did he say it to her privately? Like, hey, can you just cut that out? Like, mm -hmm. how did that go down? I doubt it because if it's like if he handled her any way like he did Bally, for instance, he he kind of pussyfooted around until he felt like he had to say something. Mm. And, and you know, playing with her. It, and the thing is, it's like... If, if you're, you're gonna put your foot down and say, you know, this is tolerance, not tolerate X, Y, and Z, then you need to be that way consistently. Like you shouldn't play around where, oh, I'm gonna joke and 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 kind of have these kind of inappropriate um, things flying in chat. But then once it crosses the line, you don't want to address it. You just want to call her out. That's weird. Right. Right. Because my whole thing is like, I think the mature adult thing to do, like if that's making you feel uncomfortable, even if it's on live stream, stream, hey, like Tasha, I don't like it. It's making me feel uncomfortable. If you do it again, then I'm gonna have to boost you out. Like, right. Give a warning. Get, I mean, something. you can easily just say at this point, you know, like you've made the joke, but it, mm -hmm. it's crossing the line. Like we get mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And I think the thing that I find most sort of distasteful really is the fact that whether it's true or not it becomes it, it it means nothing because he's now gonna run with this yeah. and he's gonna taint this woman mm -hmm. um with that you know saying that she's some sort of stalker or some sort right. of you know, and that's not fair. You shouldn't do that, you know, because you're lying. And I don't know the ins and outs of it, but I just I just feel that he's very good at doing that. And I well, think well, it's unfair. You were on that that thing where the tweet that he had quote tweeted me and um, where he was just like um, that he thinks that I want him to myself. And I'm just like, yeah. hold on. I was like, uh -uh. Okay. you're making me feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> you know, what's interesting is the way he kind of acted with narc alert. Like, that was weird behavior, if you ask me, to dress up that. as her. Like, it was one thing when he did it with Monty for Halloween. It was another for Hussy. But it's like, come on now. Like, that was weird. 
Hmm. Yeah, and the joke didn't last very long. He just looked like an idiot, you know. <laughs> so let's just finish this, and then I think we're going to have a break because my hay fever is yeah, like you keep on muting, oh. <laughs> muting. Yeah, I keep muting myself. <laughs> I've gone and blown my nose. I've gone and got myself a drink, and it's still playing around with me. It's such a pain. Okay. Anyway, okay. Let's finish this. <laughs> like weird. <laughs> Get away from me, <laughs> God! I broke up with you. I kicked you out. I broke up with you. When you break up with somebody, you go separate ways. That's how it works, right? <laughs> so stupid. I I just mm -hmm. can't believe. That he would do this to somebody. I just don't think it's very nice. I if if you if you're horrible. that un, if you're that uncomfortable with this person and you don't want to you don't want to be bothered with them, you kicked them out of the chat, you, mm -hmm. all this other stuff. Then why do you keep on bringing them up? Just yeah, like just be done with them. It's, yeah. yeah, especially since he was like, oh, I don't want to ever have to ban anybody or X, Y, and Z. Like, didn't he make a big? deal of that not long ago mm -hmm. and now he's bragging about can somebody out yeah oh he does it I all mean, the it's, time it's and like, the thing what is, not having a hug box yeah and you know that's what he's done with all of us really that's what he's tried to do it's like they've always got to have a reason why people leave them mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um <clears throat> it's such a it, it's such a childish and juvenile, juvenile way of do, of doing things because people, you know, have left. I don't have a community, but, you know, I've had people that used to come in here and they no longer come in here. But I don't feel that I have to come online and make up an, an excuse for why they don't want to come in anymore. I just think, okay, you don't want to come in. Fair enough. You know, it's so I think it's a very egotistical thing to do. It is just like when I when I left and I, I stopped watching him, I didn't say anything about it. I just stopped watching. I didn't say like, oh, he's this, he's that, and the other. I just stopped watching. But then when he came on stream with you and me, he's like, if you want to leave and you want to go with Bally and you want to go with Jan and you want to do the, go with them and leave my leave my chat, that's fine. It had like you jan and bally had nothing to do with me not wanting to watch him anymore i know so, like a weird mm. reverse parasocial thing because it's like mm. yeah i i don't i don't know like i might find somebody and for whatever reason they kind of like excite me i you know like i'm uh intrigued by their content and i watch everything for like every spare minute i have and then get tired of it and i yeah yeah, yep. Why and you know, again, or anything happen. It's just I'm ready for something new. Mm -hmm. Exactly, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what Hussey does. That's what Hussey does in his community. Um, and you know, he loved it when you used to go in there and you know go on panel with him because he thought it would really affect me. You know, <laughs> oh, you know, Jam would be so upset and. You know, Jam won't like that and she'll hate on Edna and she'll do this and she'll do that to Edna. No, because I'm not that kind of person. And also, no. my friendship with Edna has got nothing to do with who she goes. If she wants to go and talk to Hussie, then all right, go on then. <laughs> I think you do that, girly. Like online friendships or online mm. friends. You know, it's like we're strangers, but at the yeah. same time, we're friends. It's complicated. I get it. But I don't know. It's just like I treat you like a friend, but we're online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if I had an, an issue, then I would talk to you privately about it. But these people, they can't seem to understand that. And mm -hmm. I also think that yo mama's the same. And I, I just think it's it's bad I, I i yeah i can't think of another word i think it's bad that he's now coming for for tasha yeah um and saying that oh god you know it's like a scorned lover and blood no it isn't no it isn't and stop doing that and painting her as something that will follow her now around mm -hmm. you know 
any any live stream she goes to, there's going to be some cretin in there that says, oh, you're the one that mm -hmm. was in love with your mama. Right. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's yep. just right. genius. It's just And what stop. a label to have. Yeah, I can you imagine? <laughs> oh, my God. So, Polly says, Edna can do what she wants. It's okay to agree to disagree. We're mature adults. We don't we don't have to pick sides, especially in pathetic uh, place like Girl World. Exactly, Barley. But the problem mm -hmm. is, oh, you're going off to cook, darling. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, but Steve is hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you go see to your man. Go on. Sally, your chicken looks so good yesterday. I meant to say something. Like, she made a peanut uh, chicken. I can't have oh. any because I'm like, but it's funny, it is. it's funny because you know there's a certain someone who painted himself a shelf. <laughs> it's like Bally just cooking at home and I guess they're Bally, both uh, their food looks so much better. Bali is such a good cook. I, I'm going to watch that one. I haven't watched it, so I'm going to watch it. So yeah, let's let's uh, just watch the idiot play acting this now. I mean, oh, it's so performative and so manipulative. I just want to like slap him, slap him around the head. Do you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> grow up, man. But yeah, <laughs> not this one though. <laughs> God, not this one. She, uh, why are you hanging out with him? What, what are you talking about, <laughs> weirdo? Anyway, mm. and that's his favorite word, weirdo. Mm -hmm. He can't mm -hmm. think of anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we're an hour in. Let's have a break. Um, go and blow my nose again. I hate this. It happens every time. Listen, guys, I go all day long. No sneezing, <laughs> no sniffing. I'm perfect. <laughs> Come online and it's just Aww. awful. Never mind. We cope. So anyway, let's have a bit of a break. Let's have a two-minute break. And then we'll get back to this. Are you enjoying doing this, by the way, girls? It's different, isn't it? Yeah, this it's is quite yeah, okay, right, okay, let's get rid of that. And say, mm, say, wait, say, a, a Twitter. Sorry, let's have a break, girls. Okay, doke. See you in a minute. Oh, it a safe way to engage or interact with Twitter, it mm -hmm. is, isn't it? Okay. It is, and also, we don't have to watch the performing idiot. Anyway, here we go. <laughs>
Okay, and we're back in the room. I'm probably still going to be snuffling and coughing and clearing my throat. <clears throat> Wouldn't be the same. Do you have the Do you have the windows open? I know. Uh, I I've got them open a little bit. Yeah, that's what. Because at night, at day, somebody told me because I got allergies and stuff too. Somebody told me it, and I used to always keep the window open at night. They were like, close your windows at night because that's when all the pollen and all that stuff comes in. Yeah. I mean, I could, as I said, I, I never, I'm never like this during the day. It's just at mm -hmm. night time. And I have got like conifers and I live in quite sort of a green area. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably got something to do with it. But hey, maybe, maybe what I need to do is start streaming <laughs> during the day. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just have one person in the chat, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Anyway, so exactly, let's... let me know. <laughs> <laughs> God, it'll be the middle of the night for you guys. I won't even have you here. Right, so okay, so it looks like they're still going through everything. Time to sit back and watch some arguments. Right, <laughs> okay, which but this this Hecate has a lot to say for herself, and, and she's quite sort of filthy as well, uh, which I don't like. Not that I'm a prude or anything, but I just think there's a time and place. And, uh, yeah, it always makes me laugh when she when she says things like, you know, she'll say things like, um, oh, in what context? I don't know. But she'll sort of throw something out, like, yeah, well, I've been with your father or something like that. And I'm mm -hmm. like, well, is that meant to be an insult? Just makes you, <laughs> just makes you look like an idiot. I'm sorry, but, yeah. Um, right now, I mean, it makes you feel uncomfortable, I think, to the uh, <laughs> certain mm. purpose. You know what's interesting? Okay, oh, okay, Nicole Y. She's one of his um, mod mods, isn't she? I can't believe you attack women. Oh, does that mean? That she's no longer. I think Nicole Y, because I, I saw it on Twitter. I think that's the one that he demodded, but nobody knows why. Ooh. Oh, some drama. I think we, I think we can guess. Um, so, yeah, so she's put, I can't believe you attack women, crying face. And Pew Pew has said, I, I can't either. So, so then there's King Lo. Yeah, that's transphobic. Is it really that hard to believe? He came in calling women all kind of bees. Mm -hmm. Fact. Fact. Oh, oh, hang on. Let's read a bit about her then. See, this is what's so good about Twitter, Edna. You get all the juicy bits, but you have to learn where to go. <laughs> <laughs> you have to I mean, honestly. Honestly, that's how I know what's going on in girl mm. world because I'm I'm not watching I don't watch these reactors, but then everybody posts like clips and tell and they tell the breakdown of what's happening on Twitter, so I know what's going on. Yeah, that's how I do. You don't even have to go on YouTube, mm -hmm. right? So so okay, so Nicola's per okay. I'm so confused by that viewpoint. What viewpoint says Pew Pew? I really don't know a lot about your beef and I, I don't care to. Not to totally be like I don't give a F because I am spectating. Okay. I feel like I don't know enough info to form an opinion. I'm sad you're all being BC. You all seemed cordial, uh, uh, but I get shite happens. You ain't the only bitch from MD. What's MD? Maryland. Oh, okay. It's a um, state people, United States. This is eight hours ago. Ain't no beef. <laughs> LOL. Azaya, what's her name? Azri, oh, I don't care. Is a liar <laughs> and a pick me, period. Life goes on. I'm going to be, well, F, um, FFG, yo mama, and uh, Katie. Because none of them had to do what they did. True. She wants to watch her mama and not feel guilty about it. Might want to mute me because I'm going to be talking about it too. Good for you, girly. Good for you. <laughs> so what's this bit here? Have I seen? Oh, we've done that one. 
Right. Okay. Who should we look at? Shall we look at Hecates? What's that? That's fair. What can I say? What's this about? All right. Okay. All right. Right. Let's look at Hecate. Let me see what I put in my book. Because I also... Oh, before we do that, <laughs> I think it's a very solemn occasion. It was a very solemn occasion um, in the week. <clears throat> When somebody oh, no. uh, that's also blocked um, did uh, <laughs> wrote this. Okay, dear supporters, friends, as you <laughs> know, I have been regularly doing my show, and in order to take a rest from so much activity, <laughs> I have decided to take care of things at home base for a brief while. What's he talking about? He never goes out. It never goes out. <laughs> <laughs> I will continue giving you updates. He's taking a break on... from his Twitter show? <laughs> or a Twitch show? No, I think he's talking about the other th abomination that he creates. Well, he doesn't even create. He just sits there. Um, I will continue giving you updates on Patreon. Feel free to email you. Thank you. So sad. I, I just thought that was so sad, you know. He's just <laughs> giving up and he's not going to be doing his show anymore. So let's look and see what replies he got. Oh, look, there's one from me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 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 I just thought I'd wave. Laters. Laters, you fuckboy. <laughs> Uh, so that showed up, wasn't it? Showed up before, and then somebody put. I tried to send you a link, but you don't have it open, so I couldn't. That's definitely yes, definitely yes. Needs to get a a, a, a life. I'm sorry. I mean, <laughs> seriously. So what else? Oh, and somebody put. Take care, Halsey. I freaking love you. Somebody else put. Take the time you needed. Enjoy your break. And someone else has given him a heart. <laughs> wrong with you. And then this is the one that I loved. No one cares. <laughs> anyway, so there he is on his break. Now let's just check that this was written in on April 10th. Okay. And I thought, farewell. Okay. A Jew, you big fat fool. But the next day, Patreon important exactly. legal update. And then after that, on the eleventh, live at six pm. Oh, <laughs> oh <God. laughs> I think you forgot about it. <laughs> <break. of> <laughs> and then we had another one. Right. Check yeah. out DC Ninja Girl and Neg's current lawsuit update. From the Hussy Lounge. Shall we look at that? Shall we look at it? Just for the fun of it. It's going to be awful, I know it. Yeah, That's if it's still up. Okay. He needs to stop playing this god-awful music. It's just awful. So let's go forward. We need this update. This is what he came <laughs> back from his... <laughs> vacation for or his hi hiatus. He came back for this, guys. Okay, are you, are you ready? Oh, 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 no. <laughs> We're still playing crap music. Okay, let's carry on. I know I'm butchering it. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Wait a minute. Bitch. That's, I know who that is. That's um Little Boots, ain't it? Ain't that Little Boots? Oh, right, get on to the important announce announcement. Come on. We're all waiting. On boom. Thank you so, so much, you guys. Say thank you to Yoli Olga. Oh, my God. So we're halfway <laughs> in, guys. We're halfway in. We still haven't got there. Right, okay. Miss Hussey, one word. M-S-H-U-S-S-Y. Oh, he's, he's just begging for money. Don't, don't worry about that. Um, when I, I feel stressed and overwhelmed, and I have a lot on my plate, and um, it gives me anxiety. And it really? Well, then maybe stop acting 
like some sort of ogre in <laughs> in New York. I mean, just you know, calm yourself. You know, it's easy, easy peasy. But we're going to learn about the current lawsuit update. I'm um, I'm all ears, all ears. It triggers my depression. It triggers his depression. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, interesting. <laughs> uh, I don't think depression is something that gets triggered. Uh, if you have, there's different kinds of depression. Okay. If you have a dis depress depression disorder, you've got it all the time. You don't just switch it off or get like That's triggered into it. Like, well, I think. I think so, though, like, because people, I've heard people talk about, like, they can feel depression coming on, so they'll do certain things to kind of prepare for it, like maybe meal prep or something. So I think so. Oh, you've got a point there, Edna. I'll eat my words. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Sorry, I just had a drink. Sorry, G. <laughs> That's all right, darling. That's why I like you on here. You always point me in the right place. <laughs> you always like, shut up, Jan. You don't know what you're talking about. All right. <laughs> So I don't want to come on and not be myself for you guys. I don't want to. I don't want to come. Oh, so he doesn't want to come on and not be screaming and hurting abuse at so many other people, <laughs> effing and blinding, telling people to f their family, and mm. yeah, you don't want to be doing that. All right, um, okay. He just wants to be himself. Doesn't make sense, guys. Anyway. Come on and waste your time. I don't mind coming on once in a while and you guys just hearing me out and giving me, you know, emotional support. Hello, Sharp. I love and giving you money. That's the bit you meant to say. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah don't forget yeah. the money. I've never ever seen another person on YouTube or Twitch or wherever that a third of their screen is taken up by <laughs> cash apps. <laughs> so here we've got cash up. We've got PayPal, we've got PayPal me, we've got Venmo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're you're just here because you yeah, like to make friends and make people laugh. <laughs> okay. You guys help me a lot that way. Um, but I feel like I've been like this for a while now and I'm coming. Yes, you have. You've been <laughs> a nasty piece of shite for a long long time and nobody knows why you don't seem to want to make things better for yourself i don't know mm -hmm. maybe go out maybe calm down don't be so explosive i mean what can i say hmm. Ron, and you guys have been helping me thank you taylor but i wonder how they help him <laughs> by buying his food every day. <laughs> I, I mean, I, 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 I mean, honestly, I mean, that's, that is help though. If he, yeah, the price of food is atrocious, so you know, I'm sure those cash app, cash apps, and PayPal's this one help. Yeah, <laughs> I've never <laughs> know. I don't know anybody that would openly, I don't know, openly beg for. I mean, how can I put it? I know. I he mean, will openly I, I can't just see he doesn't see it that way. Things. I think he just sees it as, you know, supporters that want to help the show along. And his life is, like, his life is the show, right? So I think he sees it as, <laughs> them, it's like a business transaction more than a personal, you know, like, grifting situation where he's begging for money. I think they're sponsoring the show. Oh, okay. I've got it all wrong. <laughs> got it all wrong. <laughs> and Bridget just sat there giggling away. She knows. She knows what I'm thinking. I think also. Too, I think also too. I don't. I, I don't know. I'm speculating, but I don't think that he has a lot of people in his life that he um, um, associates with. So I think that his, yeah. him him being online that gives him some kind of interaction, social interaction. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that, actually. And thankfully, that's nothing to do with my life. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that's quite a sad situation to be in. 
I know there are people that are like that, I guess. Mm. But, um, yeah. yeah. I disagree. Because I think, I mean, like, I wouldn't come here for, like, my genuine friendships. You know what I mean? Like, if it's an emergency situation and you need to call on somebody, I don't think an online friend should be your first result or first place to turn. But I don't mm. think, I mean, we're real people. We're... You know what I mean? Like, I think you can have some degree of friendship online and get, you know, and get your social interaction. But I, it, I think there's a, a a line or there's a kind of range that you need to put them in because mm -hmm. I think people are too invested in online friendships. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I had a friend, I'm not going to say who it was, um, online and they would phone they would be on the phone to me for hours mm -hmm. and it got to the point where it was really difficult for me to just live my life and sometimes I'd be like oh well you know I'm, I'm just going to pick my son up from work or I'm just going to do this or I'm just going to I mean it was never like when the grandchildren were around I but it would be like I'm I'm going to go and do something. And it got mm -hmm. to the point where I thought, well, you you know, you can come along with me if you like. And <laughs> I would take them along with me oh because goodness. I felt that I couldn't get rid of them otherwise. Mm -hmm. So I just sort of, and yeah, that's how, I, that's how it felt. And I'm not used to that, you know. I'm mm -hmm. very much, I'm very independent. Even when I've, you know, I've had my kids. I mean, at that time, my son, my youngest boy, was still living at home with me. And he would say to me, oh, my God, you're still on the phone sort of thing. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, it's fine. But it would be hours and hours I would be on the phone. And I did actually feel uh, a bit trapped by it. Mm -hmm. So I started sort of pulling away from it I just I did not to the phone sometimes because I thought I can't I can't spare an extra like three hours to be on the phone to this person yeah you know and I so mean, I do like, I, definitely... I, I do understand they they um what's the word the dynamics of parasocial relationships and yet, you know, I saw them as a friend. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there were times when they phoned when I was like, in, say, with my family. And I would say, oh, this is so-and-so. And they'd all say, <laughs> hi. And blah, blah. Yeah. But they did worry. And, you know, when I finally broke away, they would say to me, they were a little bit, you know, a bit, uh, what's the word, clingy. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, that's a bit sort of unusual. But then I just thought, oh, well, that's because you, you know, you don't have any friends like that. Do you know what I mean? But <laughs> when, when you look at it, it is unhealthy. And mm -hmm. I, I mean, now it's know. It's unhealthy if you're not into it, for sure. I mean, but yeah. that's, I mean, because he should be respectful of, or she, he, I don't know, but you know, they should be respectful of your time and what you have going on here. Like, that's just being a good friend. Yeah, absolutely. And it's kind of quite easy to fall into that, though. I mean, there were instances when, say, I was at home on my own and I'd think, oh, I'll give them a ring, you know, mm -hmm. and I'd sit and chat. But, to talk the longest time and i'll never believe this i was on the phone to them for six hours oh no yeah <laughs> i had to charge my phone up and everything and when i finally put the phone down i thought this isn't normal mm -hmm. you know to, to be on the phone to somebody for six hours i mean i don't even talk to my real life friends for six hours <laughs> you know so I can sort of, I can understand that premise, but I think it's unhealthy. I think you, if you do have parasocial relationships, I think you have to have very firm boundaries mm -hmm. and don't allow them to be crossed. Um, but yeah, so I do understand that, what, what you were saying, Edna, you know? It's time that um, I just relax a little bit. You guys, you know, I haven't been on vacation at all. 
Um, why? Why haven't you been on vacation? Probably because he's got no one to go on holiday with. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, if that were me, if I was totally alone in this world, which thank the Lord I'm not, because I have my children, I have my family, I have friends. Um, but if I was totally alone, I think I would make, you know, make a point of going on a holiday on my own. What do you girls think? Would you go on holiday on your own? I think I've traveled alone before. Yeah. yeah, so yeah I mean, that. I traveled to, like, uh, visit a friend. But, I mean, technically, I went by myself. I've had friends who were, you know, sort of on their own and they would go on holidays alone. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't see anything wrong in that. The only the only problem Can I see is that to. don't you have to pay double the amount? Like if you go, if you um, go and stay in a hotel, you have to pay like for a double room or something if you go on your own. I think it's mm-hmm. not so much you're paying double, it's just you're not able to split the cost. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. But, yeah, I mean, if I was that, that There's alone. Options. You can always, you know, like, meet up with somebody. I don't know, I've heard stories of, like, if you want to go to an event or something, someone's like, hey, I'm going here, do you want to go together? Like, there's apps for stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. you don't have to do things alone. Yeah. So when he's saying, like, oh, you know, oh, well, I, d- I don't take holidays, or I haven't had a holiday for so long. Why? Why hasn't he had a holiday for so long? I mean, that that's of your own doing. So, uh, anyway, this is him just painting himself as the biggest victim in the world. But, yeah, you carry on. I've just realised. Oh, no, it's Saturday. I just looked down at my, um, <laughs> um, at my screen and it said April 13th. I thought, shit, it's Friday the 13th. But it's not, is it? It's Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday for you. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, Jeff. It's it's just very very stressful what's going on. So the plan is to take some. The funny thing is, he's saying it's very very stressful what's going on. It's all his own fault. He's doing it himself. <laughs> That's what I'm like. He's so. I mean, I understand being stressed out is a lawsuit, but he was like so litigious to litigious. How do you say it? A couple of weeks ago, right? Mm-hmm. He was all gone home for it. He was gonna he was gonna sue you from across the pond. <laughs> I know. I was waiting for that. I was really looking forward to that. Oh, I thought that, that would be the highlight of my year, honestly. To sit there on uh on screen, I'd, I'd make my I'd dress up really nicely and <laughs> wear a bright red wig or something like that. And um I would have loved it. He doesn't realise, you know. <laughs> yeah, I would have loved it. But anyway, so this idiot. He's like um, suing the world and his wife and is now <laughs> complaining that um, it's so stressful. Well, then don't do it. Guys, yeah. I'm waiting for Gigi to pull out. But do you think Gigi's going to pull out of this? Because I'm kind of thinking, mm. surely they can't believe that they've got a case. When when they behave the way they do online, I just, it's like insane. Hang on, that's my cat trying to come in. Hello, the pigglers. I, I just keep thinking Gigi's going to come to his senses and, and, uh, and pull out, but maybe Gigi's just as bad what as he both is. Both of them suing <laughs> who? Um, who are they suing? Oh, AK. They're uh-huh. suing AK. I and mean, then, so oh, so okay. Gigi and Hussey are suing AK, but then also Hussey is taking DC back to court. <laughs> 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 ah, I know. It's, it's just like, it's insane. Listen, do either of you watch MFW? Not really. I haven't, haven't in a long time. I saw a clip the other day and I mustn't repeat everything that she said but Mm -hmm. she's got her fingers in a few pies let me say some Mm -hmm. litigious pies put it that way oh really yeah 
So I think hmm. that's going to be interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, with who? Uh -huh. Um, about this one. This oh, one really? here. Yeah. Oh. And she knows an awful lot about him. Wow. Don't huh. you forget. She knows an awful lot. I mean, I would play her videos, but she's they were her language is so bad. I can't bear it, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, look, I did. I, I reviewed one of her videos one time, and I started, like, I was trying to bleep out all the cuss words, and it just got, I was tired, and I was like, I got to, like, 15 minutes. I was like, forget it, whatever, and I just let it roll. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I was looking at it the other day. And because, you know, I was looking for different people to cover because I don't mm -hmm. want to be bloody talking about Slow Mummer all the time. It's, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's boring. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I came across this um, this video and I thought, oh, maybe I'll, you know, talk about that. But honestly, she's just so, <laughs> so disgusted. I just can't. I was like, I can't play that. It's just <laughs> awful. Um, But, yeah, I doing? think... Because I... The last I heard, she was like it was kind of dire with her uh, drinking and needing to to stop. Oh, I think she's still drinking, from yeah, what she, I believe. She kind of she kind of goes on and off. Like she'll she be like, okay, I'm gonna stop drinking now, and then it'll start up. Like she's done that. It, it, it's like a cycle now, kind of. Yeah, oh. I just think it's well, that such might a be shame. Than, yeah, don't you think it's a shame because she's only young. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's, I mean she's just I'm waiting a lot. Everybody has their vice. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but it might it might stick one day, one day when she does I it. I hope it might, so. Might be the last. I hope so. I mean, I don't like to see somebody, you know, so deeply destroyed by, you know, alcohol alcoholism. Mm -hmm. Um, I just think it's it's really sad. Anyway, let's see. Time off. I do keep my uh, Patreon folks up to date. Of course you do. Of <laughs> course you do. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, on how I'm doing. And um, so today was not uh, planned to come on to do a live stream for you guys at all. But um, I got a phone call from my attorney this morning. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're halfway in, but we got there. Okay. And I got some good news. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Okay. Um, so as you already know, um, as you already, Anonymous Gifter, thank you so, so much. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Uh, it's, not, it's not all about the money, guys. Just remember that, okay? It's not all about the money. Anonymous gifter gifted a sub to Taylor. Move on. So, good news. They have both finally been served. I think... I'm not sure exactly what day they were served. Uh, because I think my uh, attorney was out of the country for a couple of days. But they have been served. Okay. And that's it, guys. I'm not even going to bother <laughs> playing any more of that. That was it. They've oh, been okay. served. So that was worth him coming out of his hiatus for. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Hussie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really well, that might be the, the most movement the case has had in a, you know, in a while. <laughs> it just goes on forever, doesn't it? While he's sat there in his little little box in the sky. Right, so now we're going to have a look at this Hikati woman. <laughs> she, do you know what? I, I really can't be asked with her, but let's see. She's just so... What I like is that she's such an attention seeker and she's just going to get the wrong attention. Um. Okay. Right, she went from totally respectable to is your mama a predator or not? And I'm glad she did it publicly too, so everyone could say, "Yeah, she did. She's a twat." I have to go <laughs> down because I couldn't find her account on um just by putting it in for some reason. Unless she's blocked me on here, I don't know. Don't care. Where is she? Where is she? Where's this lovely 
delightful specimen of a female. <laughs> we, should, uh, we should all be uh, looking up to her. I can't find it, guys. Just talk amongst yourselves. I'll get there in the end. Okay. I think it because I was, I was looking earlier. What's this? Okay. Uh, right. I put it on earlier to look for it. And I sort of typed it in there. And it didn't come up. And I thought, well, that's a bit weird. Uh, no, I'm not adding context. You have to use your own brains from now on. Because Katie said so. All right. Okay. Shall we listen to this for a minute? <laughs> Baby is Pew Pew Tasha's favorite, Yo Mama. And this is a good picture, too. Okay. Sexy. Is it a good picture? <laughs> I don't even know. Sexy. Whatever. I mean, he's cute. Mm. Just not my type. Yeah, Zita's awesome. All right. Wait, hold on. Not her type. Not her type. Anything with a pulse is her type. Jesus. <laughs> what can I say? Anyway, I've got to find this now. This isn't embarrassing at all. I don't get embarrassed, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be embarrassed if I put that picture up. Pew, pew, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? It's it's up the wrong way, love. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one. Okay, this I don't know who this one is, but. Okay. I think that was the guy that was talking in the spaces. Oh, okay. Rubber allegedly banned. Okay. Oh. Rapture party. We don't want to get into that. Going to it reply. I'm in my like, bedroom. Here she is. That's listen, listen, this. Why are you still arguing over that? Why? Why? Yeah. And then. And what? Where? Where was the that coming is, these from? These are questions that to ask. Sure, but th that's that. I'm not saying anyone's wrong for having the suspicions or whatever the fuck. But this whole like using of the word and the constant tweeting about it and this this the thing yesterday where it was said you you are a predator. That is my problem. If you guys want to say this is questionable, this shouldn't have happened, that shouldn't have happened, that's fine. But other things, the, the that other shit, no, because you're that's damaging. And for all they that know. We are allowed to use the words that we want to use. That's, that's, so, exactly. Yeah, I'm allowed not to like it. I'm not saying I'm also that you're not allowed to use it. it. I'm telling if you we're what talking my problem about is. Words and intentions behind words. Not once has anybody called you an apologist or a pick me. <laughs> I'm saying that when it starts to come out, because that's how you guys know I got mad people on Twitter looking for shit to talk about. And I'm saying if it starts going out, I don't give a fuck. OK, and I'm not going to change what I'm saying based on. She's she's another one that thinks so highly of herself that she thinks that everybody is out looking for her. Everybody <laughs> wants to hear what she's got to say. When in actual fact, nobody gives a rat's ass. Really, and you know, she's just making herself look really stupid. Let me tell you, okay. because I was, I was telling my dad about like her, the whole back and forth with her on on Twitter and what's going on and stuff. And he was like, "Well, who is she?" I was like, "Well, she calls herself one, like calling out hypocrisy <laughs> and stuff like that. She does, she's done videos on different people, and you know, she's calling out different different things." And he was like, "But hmm. who is she to who is she to do that?" Exactly. He was like, who is she? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the thing is... I mean, nothing like... against her, but... Like... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, go on. Go on, Edna. No, I was just going to say, like, exactly. Like, who did... You know, like, I understand someone thinking that they're so high and mighty to, like, point out somebody else's fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, don't know. I know. That's, that's kind of interesting. No, it, it's, you're absolutely right. I just can't fathom out how to get on a bloody... There, 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 there. We're there. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. Okay, shot. so this discussion, which I don't know a great deal about, I must say, is they're talking about um something that Pistachio said. Mm -hmm. Okay, something about oh, okay. Jewish people. So this rubber guy has put... Oh, what's this? Uh, Peanut saying Jewish person is welcome to their opinions on the Holocaust and Nazi pro uh, propaganda. And who is that reacting to? 
And who is that reacting to it and realising that's problematic and anti-Semitic? And now who's saying it never happened? Mm. What? Mm. So you can't say that a Jewish person is welcome to their opinions on the Holocaust and Nazi propaganda without that being seen as anti-Semitic? That doesn't make sense to me. Mm. I mean... I don't know. It's ridiculous. So then we've got Hecate sticking her nose in again because it's always in everybody's business. The comment is from a Jewish man saying you're you're a willfully ignorant cow and he wouldn't give you his attention. What? I don't know. Right, and Pistachio says he is welcome to his opinion and so are you. Facts. However... Facts, however, are not debatable. One shouldn't have to, to lie to bolster a point they're trying to make. Do you know what's so amazing, guys, is that these people make up these things in their head and then run with it as if it's fact. <laughs> Yeah. You know, that's what's so funny. Everybody wants to call, like, uh, Rosie or uh, Foodie or whoever delusional. But it's like some of these people are just as delusional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I do agree with you. Oh, that, that was what I was going to ask. Does Yo Mama know about discounted life? He, he probably does since everybody has talked about it. I bet he doesn't. He might not yeah. know. Yeah. No, I bet he doesn't. I remember that account and remember thinking how ghastly it was. Um, but I well, suppose I mean, all no, traces Jesus. of it have gone. Sorry, Edna? I said, I mean, you, uh, well, I've heard that that was Gigi. And somebody yeah. was, had a string going over it. So, I mean, it might not, it might be taken down, but, I mean, they, they have the, the receipts. Oh, have they? Yeah, I can't can find who it. Who was talking about? Was it Yaba who was talking about it, or, or the uh, or Sam? Let's see if I can find it on here, because I thought everything had gone about it. Let me see. Let me see. See if I can find it on here. I thought that there was nothing about it left, but it wasn't just Gigi, was it? It was Gigi, Negs, and Tragic. I understood were behind that. Well, I think whoever I was watching, they were saying that it was definitely Gigi and he was trying to get other people involved in it. Mm -hmm. he was like, it oh, yeah. Discounted life. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know who's talking about it? Um, mm -hmm. Sam. Okay. Okay. Let's put this back up. Do you want to watch any of this? Oh, wow. Yeah, Sam's talking about <laughs> it. Oh, okay. Now, this is interesting. What about this one? Uh, the gaming ground exposed as dis discounted life a year ago. Oh, that's Monty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I don't want to play any of Monty's. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Look, there's loads about him. I think it's probably... Oh, that's Alex Glitter. Shall we watch that one? Or watch some of it anyway? Because uh, she's quite good with the receipts. So let's click on that. Okay. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. <laughs> Why does it come up like that? He had a back and forth with uh, Callie and Shane. This is back when Callie and Shane were together. At some point, their back and forth actually turned into Hussey being transphobic, openly transphobic repeatedly towards Shane. Mm -hmm. Why ain't you supporting your girlfriend, bitch? She's ripping oh, up her new mind. Wow. Okay? Now you hiding like a fucking coward? See, people forget that. They forget... <clears throat> How vile oh he was to um, Callie and Shane. I remember that. 
He was disgusting. I can't believe as a as a member of the community, especially as someone that plays with gender, he will be he would do that. That's crazy. He was disgusting, Edna. Do you remember that bridge? Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was like, and I, you know, what I don't understand is how he's managed to get away with it, but he has. But I think so. also, because, uh, and I was saying that, like, part of being part of the LGBT, LGBTQ community, how would he do that? And he actually used that kind of as an excuse. He was like, I'm LGBTQ, so how can I be trans, or how can I, how can I be transphobic? Yeah. But there is, there is a lot of transphobia in the LGBTQ community. Yeah. Oh, I know that. I know that for sure. I've, I've witnessed that myself personally. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and I've actually called out gay people for talking mm -hmm. disgustingly about other gay Me people. Too. I don't like it. It's like no. I, I think I think when when all of that first started, they didn't want trans people to be part of it. I, what was I watching? Yeah. I was watching some documentary, um, and it was, what was uh, about uh, Stonewall, about Stonewall, and yeah. the trans some of the trans people were trying to be a part of it and they did not want them there and they had to yeah. fight to be part of it. Yeah. I've heard about that as well. And I think even to this day, there are some gay people that will never accept them mm -hmm. as part of the community. It's mad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolute madness. Okay. Anyway, so I've made this a bit bigger for you. Right. Okay. I mean, the things that he, that he used to come out with, Honestly, anyway, let's carry on. Where is you? You act so big and bad, but when it comes to bigger channels and you threatening, you don't fucking say a damn word. Now, let me tell you something, bitch. If you want to be a man, grow a pair of balls. If you can't grow a pair of balls, go to the doctor and buy it. And See, this is so transphobic. It's just mm. awful oh. telling a trans man this. Mm. Just that is so sickening. hurtful. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's sickening. I'm sorry, but it is. I I just wanted to go back and just read what what she said here. Um, Hussey speaking to Callie, Callie's ex boyfriend. I uh, can't read that bit. A uh, trans who Hussey went in real life and called the father of and harassed See, that's another thing he's been doing it for for years he's been doing it for years and to think that he actually believes he can take these people to court mm. is insane to me it wow. honestly it's absolutely insane but when it comes to bigger channels and you threaten, you don't fucking say a damn word. Now, let me tell you something, bitch. If you want to be a man, grow a pair of balls. If you can't grow a pair of balls, go to the doctor and buy it. And if he can't do it for you, take your scrawny ass to Toys R Us and get yourself two of them and glue it to your damn cha-cha. You hmm. Can you believe that? I, it, just makes my, it just makes me sick. Yeah. Hmm. Just unbelievable um i can't read that can any of you read that does it say that he apologized anyway it doesn't matter it doesn't matter whether he apologizes or not it's still disgusting you make me fucking sick and because i'm an i'm an adult and i can do things the way i want um i reached out to hussy and let him know i can't support this it was the most polite way right. I can end a friendship. I didn't make it public. I reached out to Hussey privately as respectful as possible. And to no surprise, Hussey did not respond well, but um, I kept it respectful. I made it clear, I'm good. These are the things I saw for myself. Take care of yourself. I wish you the best. That's what this message is. So when I have someone that I may consider a friend, if they do something like that, if they are actually my friend, this is an example of what I would do. Yeah. It's amazing to me, though, that that somebody like Charlie Gold would even consider somebody like Hussey a friend. I don't understand that. 
Well, that, that was just like when he first came on the scene and everybody was like kind of gung ho about him. Like this is a new person coming in, whatnot. And I remember when yeah. Charlie actually had had him on on stream with her. They were talking mm -hmm. about, yeah, you should come out here, come out to New York. And, and she was like, I mean, yeah, I mean, they were really friendly. But that was that was before mm -hmm. everything. Yeah, I just uh, no. Nah. I mean, I, yeah, I... movie too. So what would she look like supporting him in that nonsense? Mm -hmm. mm. Now, I went on to post a tweet in support of Shane. Didn't mention Hussey, didn't bash Hussey. Hussey goes on to call me a baboon, to call me, um, actually, I think you call me a baboon more than once, to call me a baboon and be upset at, at me. Even though my message to him was respectful. I did not disrespect him. I didn't even disrespect him in the tweet address. I believe her as well, that she's spoken to Charlie. Uh, we had her on Sweet Talk once, and she was an mm -hmm. absolute joy. She was funny. She was relaxed, just a decent person. And again, I'll, I'll repeat myself, why would she even have anything to do <sighs> with this man? And for him to turn around and speak to her like that afterwards, mm -hmm. where, especially when she didn't, publicly humiliate him or anything like that she sent a you know a long letter explaining why she couldn't accept his behavior and mm -hmm. this is how he acted pressing shame this i want to show shame to all that out so i want to bash someone else. say that again edna i said the fact that she wrote all of that out shows that she really cared mm -hmm. yeah Exactly. And it also showed she's a decent person. You know, she didn't just turn around and say, oh, you know, F you, I'm not interested in you. You know, she did it in the right way. So, yeah, it's madness. And I was friends with. It was understood why I no longer want to be friends. And I just wanted to show shame, shame support. He went on to call me a baboon. He went on to be racist. It's weird how the go-to with a lot of people is racism when it comes to me. Mm -hmm. It's odd. You're doxing me. Mm -hmm. Just remember. Mm -hmm. Remember things. I'm remembering what? You're not some stranger 55 states away. Mm -hmm. I know there's only 50. Shut up. Mm -hmm. You're apparently my friend's neighbor. Uh -huh. I would have told you that sooner, but I didn't like you. So okay. when she told me this, I was like, I gotta tell her. Oh, oh yeah, this is JJ. Um, being passive aggress aggressive to Charlie, saying that he knows who she is, he knows where she lives, she lives quite near him, she knows, he knows exactly where she lives because a friend of his is one of her neighbours, so this is him just being an absolute arsehole. <laughs> So Danny Brown wanted me to remember things. He wanted to remember that he knows where I live. Apparently his friend lives near me. Keep in mind, um, unless Danny Brown moved, I still live here. So we're still 20 minutes away. That pussy ass bitch is not showing up to my door yet. So Danny Brown wanted me to remember that he knows where I live. He said this on the YouTube platform over something I had nothing to do with. He said, as you have your people doxing, never doxed him. I'm not even connected to anyone who doxed him. The farms doxed his dumb ass because he didn't cover up his name on one of the purchases he had on his Instagram. And, when the and that's exactly what Hussey's done. He put out, I mean, his name is all over the place. Um, like he, I think even on his Patreon, he put his full name on there or on <laughs> something. And, and like, you know, his PayPal and everything. He puts his full name on everything. He's just an absolute twat. But I just want to well, say... Before... Is... I was going to say, it's extremely easy to dox yourself. Like, you know, I can see how that can happen, you yeah. know. I've I never doxed myself. When people are like mad. Have to be a bit careful. I've never doxed myself, but you know, there's ways to find out. I, I'm quite easy to find um, because well, you I know, mean. because I'm an artist. So you know, it's not easy. I mean, it's not difficult. I just want to find a discounted life bit. Hang on, let's see if this is. I thought. Which account, Crystal? I can't wait to see your receipts. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so it seems Gigi likes to do a little bit of doxing as well. Oh, I don't want that. Um, 
So it looks like everything about discounted life is just gone. And it's like here, okay, uh, GoFundMe receipt showing the amount of money raised, but also he puts his full name on there as well. I mean, that's, I think that's where Huffy did it. That's where he doxed himself on his GoFundMe's. And we know that he's had at least six. So, six? <laughs> yeah, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're not going to actually see anything about discounted life, which is a shame. But I think... You know, I, I think Gigi was kind of hoping that people would forget that. And, uh, you know, people seem to forget that the internet is forever. Um, and even though you may get rid of the videos or the channel, people remember, you know, mm -hmm. and it may be harder for them to, to um, you know, show receipts, but it's still there, you know. People aren't stupid. No, I think more yeah but they, they she had she was showing receipts what of the discounted life thing right has anyone like actually had... got any receipts on on discounted life i don't think they have no yeah they if do. i put that into twitter uh, not twitter youtube nothing is coming up apart from, and I don't really want to play Sam now because we're getting late now. And also, Sam, I'll just show you what I'm looking at. Sam is also just like I just did that. Oh, I only do that now. Right. Okay. So if you go along here, right, she's just showing the Charlie Gold thing as well. Let's just see here what she got there. Oh nothing there so that's just showing that discounted life is gone but then the this is showing the tweets right S sorry i said this is what i was saying like he's showing or she's showing what he was uh tweeting and what he was posting that's not what, what you're talking about discounted life ah there okay so that bit there all right okay but he keeps making these accusations. Right, okay. So, discounted life. See, I remember that, and they had that picture. Throw a broom in there and a mother who hates them, and you have a Charlie Gold Christmas. Thank you. Discounted life. Now, that is a dig at Charlie, who was, you know, allegedly, I'm sorry, Charlie, I hope I'm not going to say the wrong thing, but I understand Charlie went through, you know, um, abuse as a child. Mm -hmm. And this is um, someone poking fun in mm -hmm. the most evil yeah. way about that. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. I just, I just think it's awful. And what's this? Right, what is this? Is this is after Charlie shared that she had been essayed as a child? Okay, I can't read that very well. Can you read that, guys? Make it bigger. Get rid of that chat. There. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So he says shocking, and then to the tweet, she says, "I was okay, five, and again around ten. <laughs> Edna, <laughs> Tommy. Um, he, yeah, he says she's so conniving. She got attacked by people because of what life said. So she jumps on this bandwagon, huh? It's disgusting. I'm sorry, I can't hide my disgust at this. Michael B. Pet Petty said this is just a fraction of the racist bullshit and constant harassment I have dealt with from discounted life gaining ground for the past three years, even going as far as doxing me during live streams, which led to people calling my school to get me expelled. Mm. It was a, a dreadful... It's awful. Hang on, let's move on from there. I don't really want to play her video. Right, okay, let's move to that one. Hi, soccer count. Stop comparing you guys. 
uh, dig in for videos that had nothing to do with the gaining ground to Michael B. Petty downloading every photo on Amber's Facebook page, including one of her underage in a one-piece bathing suit to store on his hard drive. This bit, to store on his hard drive, making out that he's some sort of, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. God. I have the DM, so stop Someone did it to him. Is... Yeah. It's just, it's just gross. It's just awful. Um... Oh my God. Ugh. So what's that? Oh, right. Okay. So that's a parody account of Gaining Ground. And your channel is next. I've heard of that person. Mm -hmm. Charlie, didn't didn't your mama beat the shit out of you? Where can I click the like for that the like for that one? Mm -hmm. I mean, what sort of people are these? They're just vile people. I'd live stream with champagne, referring to FFG. She can swing from a support beam if it'll hold her. I tell you, these people are just evil. I just, no. See, this is why I don't go on Twitter, Jen. Yeah. So what's this? Gaining ground. I need two women to record themselves taking ownership of discounted life. LOL, I have something I want to write and have them read, just voiceovers that will completely ruin their narrative. Mm. 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 I remember something about that. Did you, Bridge? Uh-uh, uh-uh. I've never seen this before. Yeah, I remember something about that. And that, because here, he's admitting. Yeah. Isn't yeah. he? Mm -hmm. That yeah. he was discounted live. People don't... I don't know. People maybe people do have short memories, but it's it's just disgusting. Oh, I can't read that very well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So There's this always is always something on going on for you. Right. I need unknown voices. I may recruit some friends. That's a good idea. Say they're GG mods who started uh DL. And made the first video and showed me, and I thought it was funny and wanted people to see it. So I showed Neg. I mean, what an idiot to even put that on Twitter. And that was, is that 2022? Yeah, so that was two years ago. Counted live, GG and Peanut could have been more supportive. So me not putting a, a Twitch link on a community tab warrants all of this. Him, although as I say, I heard it was three of them: him, Neg, and Tragic. That's what I heard. Okay. Right, so this is Discounted Live. That's 2021. Right, I don't know who they're talking about here. Right, okay. <clears throat> and he had the... Uh, oh, God. Right, okay. Right. Who was not here? Okay, so we've moved on from discounted life here because that's not. Um, when they did discounted life, then did they not put their faces on? I take it they didn't put their faces on. Mm -mm. Like the channel? No, it was yeah. just like um, it was just uh, like an AI voice. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, he's as much as admitted it was him. So yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Just shows how vile he is, really. I wish, you know, and I did say this on Twitter, I think, I wish that I'd known that he was going to come up and try and sing Hussey's praises um, the other day when I was on that panel. Uh, I would have been more prepared. I wasn't <laughs> prepared. But anyway, okay, girlies, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for coming up. I hope you enjoyed this Twitter read. Just a bit different, <laughs> wasn't it? Mm -hmm. A bit different. Yeah, it we covered nice a few things.
Take a little stroll you... through the Twitter streets. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you can go onto Twitter and watch. I think you could. You don't have to sort of have an account over there, do you? I don't think so. Uh, anyway, I think, I think yeah. I'm good, though. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> don't bother love yeah it's not worth it um so girls have a nice have a nice weekend and thank you so much for joining me i always appreciate it you're wonderful and thank you also to the people in the chat the lurkers and the people that watch it on replay it's funny because the numbers soon whiz up after the re after I finish, which is most odd. But uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. So have a fabulous weekend and uh, see you on Wednesday, everybody. Uh, take care of yourselves. Thanks again, ladies. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>